I am Mark Krauss, uh, co-author of the fourth edition now of Introduction to Psychological Science. A new edition has just come out, and I've been asked some questions about the book, about the project in general, uh, that I want to address here. I have made some significant changes to the fourth edition of the book, and one major change uh, came from our work with the Diversity, Equity, and Inclusion team, a team member at Pearson. Um, they carefully read our third edition manuscript and also the new material that we wrote and consulted with us on how to ensure that the writing and the examples we gave were consistent with the DII goals that Pearson has, uh, has adopted. I think the book is much improved as a result of this. Um, and I also think this would be an eye-opening experience to anyone, even someone who may believe that they already practice sort of the ideals um, that are a part of, of DEI, diversity, equity, and inclusion. Um, I will say that when it comes to this, I can, uh, we can probably always improve, I'm sure we can, but I believe the fourth edition is greatly improved and there's, um, but there's always room for, for more. Um, living through the pandemic is a new feature that we started um, during the third edition of the book and revised and expanded it in the fourth edition. In this feature, we discussed psychological research relevant to the COVID-19 pandemic. We felt that we needed to make this um, explicit and not bury it within the pages. Um, it's been so front and center and affected our lives in so many ways. And so, for example, we have a feature now that focuses on the effects of the pandemic on um, mental health. Um, we've expanded on and diversified our coverage of indigenous perspectives in psychology. We address specific issues and concerns where psychology is relevant and potentially, hopefully beneficial to indigenous peoples. For example, how psychological well-being is conceived of, social inequities and intelligence testing, uh, how language and identity are interrelated, and um, sources of resilience uh, for indigenous people. Um, and of course, we've updated the text to reflect current research. Um, that task has changed over the past five to 10 years, particularly with psychology confronting concerns about replication and bias in research, not just in psychology, it's across the sciences, and psychology is kind of at the forefront, actually, of taking on um, these issues. So updating now entails not just reading new studies, but keeping an eye on what's happening with replication efforts. This doesn't always mean that we remove studies, maybe that fail to replicate a single time, um, but rather students will see increased acknowledgement of specific studies that have mixed results. They can appreciate what's going on. I was thrilled to add research on uh, in the learning chapter about how plants could be classically conditioned. Um, one of my favorite updates concerns research on the genetic basis of personality. We previously had focused on a single candidate gene sort of research study on the serotonin transporter gene. Um, this research has kind of stalled out in, a, in part because of replication failures, and we replaced it with research using genome-wide association methods. Um, these, of course, don't tell the whole story either, uh, but students can get a better appreciation of the multiple determinants of something really complex like, uh, like personality. You'll also find numerous updates on the hashtag psych feature, one of my favorite features in the book. Um, we address questions such as whether logging into Facebook is a form of informed consent. So research can be done on people who work at Facebook. Um, the effects of video gameplay on neuroplasticity, um, whether just Googling it can actually be detrimental to learning and memory. And also we've updated research on the relationship between health, psychological health and um, social media use. It is truly an exciting time for our field, and I hope that folks enjoy our fourth edition.